Global Productions. We have Wadhanu Jukia, who is an actress, and we're going to be having a performance today from Teresa Jockey. It's Christmas season, and what better day to talk about film than um, Saturday because everybody's at home, people are in front of their TVs, people are not working today. And to start off, we'd like to show a trailer by Glide Light, uh, Glide Lakes, sorry, productions called The Wrath of Betrayed Souls. We now live in a society where doctors destroys health. Lawyers destroys justice. Universities destroys knowledge. Government destroys freedom. The press destroys information. Religion destroys morals. And our banks destroys the economy. If you can't fly, then run. If you can't run, then walk. If you can't walk, then crawl. Thing you have to do, you have to keep on moving forward. My dear granddaughter, you have to be strong for yourself as well as for your dad. You are the heiress to your dad's company, remember? <laughs> Go call me an accountant. I'm a food dog. Nanani? Here. We've seen the film that is a trailer uh, called The Wrath of Betrayed Souls. Uh, starting with you, uh, Edward, as a director, what was your intention? Of tell us something more about that film. Okay, first, uh, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you too. <laughs> By the way, how was your day? Forgive my manners. My day was fine. Mm -hmm. yeah, I enjoyed the day I was in church. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm happy to be with you. Okay. Yeah. What about you? Well, then what does Christmas mean to you? Christmas is all about sharing, mm -hmm. sharing is caring, mm -hmm. and love, mm -hmm. love, smile, mm -hmm. all those. Okay. Okay, let's go back now to our day's topic. Why did you choose to do The Wrath of Betrayed Souls? Uh, first, uh, the reason why I chose it is because of the day to day society. Mm -hmm. I wanted to talk uh, about something different from love, mm -hmm. or let me say comedy. Mm -hmm. I wanted to at least uh, try to teach uh, the, uh, the audience mm -hmm. of the different uh, things that is happening to our society. Mm -hmm. So uh, that was why I chose The Wrath of Betrayed Souls. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, because it's a script that is different from other kind of scripts that we are used to. Okay. Yeah. So maybe because what we've seen is a trailer. So when is the movie coming out? Maybe for someone who will want to watch it? And the movie will be ready by the second week mm -hmm. of January. Okay. Yeah, we're just uh, doing the clearance mm -hmm. uh, from the KFC mm -hmm. classification board. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Wadhanu, you are an address with Global, with the Glide Lakes Global Productions. Why did you choose to do acting? Um, <coughs> acting first is a passion. Mm -hmm. It comes from within. For you to choose to be an actress, mm -hmm. You can't like it's not a career; mm -hmm. it's a talent. Mm -hmm. Like I've tried a lot of things mm -hmm. before, like, but I find myself coming back it every time. Mm -hmm. So, do you do acting full time, or do you have something else that you do? I'm a student. Also, oh, student balance, uh, balancing the acting yes. talent. Okay, so. How do, I would like us to talk about a uh, few things, like how is the film industry doing? What are some of the, of the challenges that you faced like, so far for the time that you guys have been um, doing a film? And mm -hmm. for you, uh, Edward, you're a director. Yeah. When you're doing casting, yeah. uh, and you have, a, you have a film, you have a script, and you need uh, actors and actresses of, for that, what do you look out for when you're looking for a cast member, or when you're looking for someone to play a certain role in a film? Okay, so I'll start from the casting part mm -hmm. as the director. Mm -hmm. uh, number one is to locate a good script mm -hmm. because we have so many people who come with the script 
uh, when I could submit a script. So you have to choose first. Uh, I choose the first, the best script. Mm -hmm. uh, after that, uh, I choose. Uh, we have a group of people who do acting, like uh, Watan and Juki. Mm -hmm. So uh, I look at the group. Does Watanu fit that role? Mm -hmm. If she doesn't fit, I'll go and look for uh, auditions. Uh, let me say I want uh, a lady who is dark mm -hmm. and she's brown, so she doesn't fit that. So mm -hmm. I look for, I go for auditions. Mm -hmm. uh, I locate, uh, uh, another thing, someone is maybe young or old. Mm -hmm. I can't play like an old person. Yeah. At when you make makeup, it will look like a drama. Mm -hmm. And this is a, a film. Mm -hmm. So I look for the right person that fits mm -hmm. the role. Mm -hmm. Okay, besides the physical, that is the age, maybe you want a 30-year-old guy, uh, you want a light lady, you want a dark lady. Be apart from that, what else do you make sure you look? Because you can have someone who fits all the physical aspects of it all, but maybe they're not going to manage to put out the script as you want them to. True. Yeah. Uh, I'll talk about the communication. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If this script is a Kiswahili script, mm -hmm. uh, getting someone who doesn't... You know, the, he, only, he or she knows the local language will mm -hmm. be a challenge. Mm -hmm. So I say education is so important. I'll choose someone who fits it. Apart from uh, the, the physical appearance, I look at the education. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I look at the communication skills. Okay. I look at the, uh, the way he delivers. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a way someone can deliver something mm -hmm. that is uh, more appropriate than mm -hmm. the way Esinjokia does it. Okay. So... Uh, I'll just look at the educational background, mostly. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Uh, as an actress, I'm sure you've gone for several casting uh, calls and all that. Is, is there a place where you've gone and they're like, no, have you, have you maybe auditioned and not gotten a certain character or a certain role? <laughs> it happens a lot of times. Mm -hmm. like and how do you now get to deal with that? Uh, well, you learn from it. Mm -hmm. Well. We don't lose. Mm -hmm. When you say like I've gone for an audition and haven't and I haven't been picked, I say that is not a loss. Mm -hmm. I'm learning something from that. Mm -hmm. So how do you prepare yourself for an audition? How do you make sure that by the time you're walking in to meet the director, to to meet the person leading the casting and all that, that you're well prepared so that you don't end up like losing every opportunity that comes. How do you prepare yourself to make sure that you're the perfect, let's call it perfect person? to be picked for a certain role? Uh, that is reacting a few monologues. Mm -hmm. mm, maybe if they want a song. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, the, Mr. Director, let me call you Mr. Director. How, yeah. do you, how would you say the film industry in Kenya right now is doing? Uh, first, I will thank uh, the KFC and the Kalasha. Mm -hmm. The film industry is rising at a very fast rate. Mm -hmm. uh, compared to the uh, backwards, mm -hmm. yeah. The film industry is rising. Mm -hmm. There are new content. Yeah, there. Are, uh, I was in the color showers. There's something uh, that I saw that uh, nowadays they have set up the standards of the film. Mm -hmm. We have new people coming up with ideas mm -hmm. that can be watched anywhere in the universe. Mm -hmm. So the film industry is rising. We have a, a lot of tapped uh, people who have talent, who mm -hmm. have skills. Mm -hmm. Also, in terms of payment, mm -hmm. the film industry is now paying. Mm -hmm. uh, unlike the way they used to say, if you tell someone I'm doing acting, it's like, ah, you ni kazi kweli. So it's a good, uh, the industry is good. Mm -hmm. If you do quality mm -hmm. thing. Okay. Yeah, it's good. Okay. Uh, for you, uh, Jukia, when you have to, let's say there's a casting and they need maybe um, a woman, a businesswoman, she's, a, she's supposed to be strong, maybe she's supposed to be mean. Have you ever found it so hard to maybe play like the mean characters? How do you try to make sure that when people see you out there, they don't see that Jukia was in the movie and now start thinking that this girl is mean? Because you've had instances where actors and actresses say that people judge them based on the movies or the films that they have done. Have you maybe probably had such an experience? Well, I try to explain to my colleagues, mm -hmm. my friends, and mm -hmm. everybody around me that that is somebody else. That is main character, mm -hmm. but this is main person. Mm -hmm. So you can't judge me based on what I'm doing over there. Mm -hmm. That is work. Mm -hmm. I have to be in that certain way. 
for to bring that character out. Okay. So when you meet me in life from this way, mm -hmm. so don't judge me. Okay. So we've seen we've seen like we these days we have a lot of um movie apps that is online for example <coughs> we have netflix and we've seen a lot of nigerian movies on that platform what do we think we can do as kenyans to make sure that our movies because when a movie is on netflix this is something that is accessible to everyone in this world so what do you think kenya can do that is kenya content creators that is producers directors what can we do to make sure that we get to see one day you log in on a certain application and find a kenyan movie uh. On that, I, I can say is that uh, we need to push more. Mm -hmm. If you want something, you have to just go for it. Mm -hmm. uh, if there is uh, the government or those who are capable mm -hmm. of making that happen, because we have a uh, nice content in yeah. Kenya, mm -hmm. I cannot say that we don't have a movie that can be shown on mm -hmm. Netflix. Mm -hmm. We have a variety, mm -hmm. uh, Selena and mm -hmm. all that. Mm -hmm. So what I can say is that uh, uh, those who are doing the creation, the filmmakers, mm -hmm. do something that can fit that, uh, that platform mm -hmm. on Netflix. Mm -hmm. Number two, we look for people who have the, the capability or those who have the networks mm -hmm. to get there. Okay. And like me personally, I still don't know how I can get a movie to the, to the Netflix. Mm -hmm. Even though I've watched Netflix movies, mm -hmm. I know they are growing each and every time and fixing more upcoming movies. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to be taking a very short break, but when we come back, I'd like us to talk about uh, how can film creators in this country have, make sure that they're creating content that is also sustainable and content that is also relatable to the audience. We're going to be taking a very short break on Y254 News. Don't go too far away. We'll be right back. <laughs> 